Oi boys, welcome back to another Be A Pro video here as Rick Young and we got some devastating news. So first of all, we did get an offer from the Super Rugby, but man, we can't even play in the Super Rugby. As you can see in the background, I'll show you the team we did sign for and that was the Mighty Crusaders. It sucks because we grinded our asses off for this. We actually cracked the Crusaders, but we are stuck in some sort of NZ Cup. It's like a simulation loop. You know, usually after you pick a team to play for, it'll show that competition, but it still shows the NZ Cup for me, and it just keeps simulating through the season. And there honestly isn't anything I can do, which, like I said, kind of was a huge buzzkill for me. We were, however, able to play the Rugby World Cup, so we'll be playing out the World Cup because we will be captaining and kicking for the All Blacks, which is dope. And we can't let Rick Young go out like that. The series is Road to the All Blacks, we cracked the All Blacks with a captain, with a kicker, and yeah, let's just uh, try and win this Rugby World Cup before capping the series off. This won't be the last of Rugby Challenge for Beer Pro, by the way. I will revisit this game mode, but maybe, maybe after the career mode patch or the career mode update. So for round one in the Rugby World Cup, we'll be taking on Actually, first of all, the pool we're in, we're in, we are in the hardest pool easily. The pool of death. You know, there's got to be one every Rugby World Cup and we're in this one. It's got France, Ireland, England, and uh, a little bio with the USA. So that's pool two and pool one. There's Scotland, Samoa, Tonga, Italy, and Canada. Fairly easy one for Scotland, it seems. In pool three, you got Japan, Russia, Georgia, Australia, and Uruguay. Australia with a very... Oh, Japan could come out on top on that one. On paper, it seems like an easy win for Australia. And in Pool 4, you got South Africa, Wales, Fiji, Argentina, and Namibia. Another another fairly competitive pool. Alright boys, welcome back to what's kind of a bittersweet moment here in the the career of Rick Young. This will be our last tournament with Rick. As you all know by now, we've in some weird some weird um NZ Cup simulation loop. Where we are stuck in the NZ Cup, even though we signed to the Crusaders boys. Can you believe we signed to the Crusaders? Won't even get to play Super Rugby. As a little interception-a-thon happens over here in the middle. But yeah, like I said, we took the deal with the Crusaders. I think a two-year deal. But we can't get out of the NZ Cup for some reason. Tried a little show and go. Nice pass out to Bridge. Here's the first try of the Rugby Championship or the Rugby World Cup. And it's George Bridge opening the scoring here. Yeah, at least we get to uh, we get to play this. One sec. At least we get to play this uh, this final our first World Cup with Rick Young. And we're actually captaining 
I'll most likely move on to a coach mode, a new coach mode. And I think I mentioned it in the past, but of who I wanted to play as. As we wait on possession here, we will get it and we'll clear it. Oh no, the angle's no good. The bounce is too big. We've played, what, three years now? Or three or four years? As Rick Young in the Beer Pro series. We'll definitely revisit Beer Pro maybe after the next patch. Watch your back, bruh. Simple. Beautiful. As we score on the stroke of half time. Alright, we're standing pretty flat. Made it even worse when we ran onto it, but look at the ball movement here. Drawing pass after drawing pass. As we eventually get bridge over. From the sideline. We nail it. What I was initially going to do was uh, simulate through the whole season, see if it fixes itself. But I'm pretty sure it won't. We came across the World Cup and I thought we'll end, it, we'll end the series with us playing as Rick, captaining the All Blacks in the World Cup, our first World Cup, and see if we can bring that World Championship to New Zealand. As they go wide left, throwing an interception, a bad pass by Smith. We make it another shot though. No, we don't. As we slot in here. Oh my goodness, it took an age to get the kick off. So you know how in every World Cup there's a pool of death? We are in the pool of death for this, uh, for this World Cup. So we got... Ooh, had to get rid of that quick. But yeah, we got uh, Ireland in here, we got England, and we've got the French, also USA, but... Yeah, it's actually quite exciting being in such a stacked pool. It'll make, uh... It'll make winning the World Championship that much sweeter. If we can make it out of the pool stages, at least. Oh my goodness, the knock-ons are just pouring. There it is. Well defended by Ireland, but they cough it up. Come on. Hmm. No, no speed to get around the outside. Hopefully we don't run onto it this time. There was space on the left, the last scrum, and there's still space there. Ooh, high tackle. Of course we lose it. Ireland playing some pretty expansive rugby. Wide passes. As they send it to the wing, he gets hammered.
Our men are standing pretty flat. Oof. Not bad, not bad of fallen hand as iron. I just tried going for a quick punt. He didn't even punt the ball. Let me slot in here, Aaron. Beautiful. Oh, how has he kept that in? There's no way. Wide ball. All the space in the world. Oi. Powerful run in the end. I thought he was about to get taken out. Who was this on the wing? Oh, Geordie. That was on the back of our little jackal. Cheeky little steal. And we just swung it wide. Right here. Boom. Pipped it. Sent it. And Barrett beautifully places it in the corner. Oh, this might miss. Nope, we're good. And we'll end it. It's a good start to the World Cup campaign here. 21 points to nil. We defeat Ireland. Like I said, we're in the pool of death. We've still got England, France, and uh, USA. Good old USA. Ireland with slightly more ball but unable to get anything going in attack. Handling errors crept up quite a bit, 6-4. to Alright, first of all, apologies for the mic. I don't know why it kept cutting in and out. I just bought a new wire for my, for my headset and it sounds even worse than my broken wire. So yeah, I didn't know that the mic would be like that until I started editing the video. So apologies for that. As for Rick Young, as you can see, he's an 84 overall. So we've regressed through all those simulations. Remember, we did end at an 85, I'm pretty sure, after winning the NZ Cup. But yes, that'll wrap up game one. We easily get past Ireland. In the next game, we got England, who I expect would play much better than the Irish did. As always, boys, if you want to see more Rugby Challenge 4 content, you know what to do. Run it straight at that like button. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you, 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 you. later.